What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay, Mr. Muscles, and I got another good one for you. <clears throat> another good exercise for you today. Well, I'm going to start off by saying one of my subscribers reached out to me, and they let me know that they really, uh, one of their problem areas is their stomach. So I'm going to dedicate this video to that specific person. Male or female, gender doesn't matter. So hopefully this gets you to uh, understand how I operate. And if you reach out to me, I'll make sure I reach back to you with another video pertaining to whatever your situation is. So again, for this video, we're going to do a series of a few uh, exercises. We're going to attack the stomach again, working on these abs, trying to get this six pack, four pack, eight pack, or maybe even just toning whatever it is that you want to do. We're going to try to help you reach the goal that you need to get to. Okay. So again, as I mentioned, we're going to, today we're going to go over a good three uh, additional stomach exercises. These do not include weights. You do not need any weights. You can do these at home. You can do these any way, any way you see fit because you don't need any, any weights to do so as long as you got the allotted amount of time and you got uh, the space you need to do it on any floor, mat, whatever you have, uh, you can knock these out. For the first one, what I'm gonna uh, introduce to you if you don't already know is what they call a Russian twist. So basically, I'll demonstrate it in a second, but you basically just uh, getting on the floor, sitting on your butt, getting in that position. This is gonna require a little bit of balance. If you've never done this before, you may need uh, to try to attempt it a few times to get your balance together. So let me demonstrate how that looks real quick. I'm gonna aim your lower to the floor. Basically, what you're gonna do, you're gonna sit on the floor as I am right now. You do a slight lean back. Once you do that lean back, you can raise your feet in the air off the ground. You can cross them or you can hold them up straight. It may be a little more comfortable if you cross your feet so that way you can, you know, just keep your balance intact. So, again, you use your hands, you can reach, touch the floor or as close to the floor as you can get. When uh, you start these, you're gonna do it in cadence. If you don't understand what cadence mean, it's more of a uh, like military jargon basically, but with cadence is gonna be one, two, three, four, that's one. So one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. So every single fourth uh, rep is gonna make it one. So this is how it's gonna look. You gotta get in that position. One, two, three, one, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven. And you're gonna do that until you get to hopefully 12, 15, maybe even 20 reps. Again, while you're doing this exercise, make sure that you breathe, make sure that you keep your stomach tight, keep those abs tight, and that's how you're gonna feel the most burn. I'm gonna do it from the side angle. So you can see what I'm saying. Once you do this, you lean back, that slight slant, pick your legs up so that they're elevated and you're at that slant. And it's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four. And that's basically what we call the Russian twist. And <clears throat> again, once you do those, if you're getting that big number at 20, 30, you're gonna really feel it. You're gonna really feel the, your uh, abs burning and it's gonna be a great workout for you. One of the second exercises that I'm gonna show you today is basically your standard sit-up. But this one, as like you should know by now, the things I like to do. So this one is gonna be a push-up pyramid. So it's basically self-explanatory. I mean, I'm sorry, correction, a sit-up pyramid. Uh, so again, self-explanatory, but I'm still demonstrating just so you get the hang of it, get what I'm trying to uh, say. And again, you're gonna go from one and you're gonna work your way up to 10 or however far you can get to, but the goal is to get to 10. Then once you get to 10, then I can show you further uh, videos 
on what will be next after you reach that step. So let's start off. Again, you get in your normal sit-up position. <clears throat> From this position, again, I don't recommend putting your hand behind your head. Try to put them either on top of your head or again, across the, uh, across the chest. So I'm gonna start like this. So when you go up, the first number is one. Down, that's one. Second number is two. Up, down, one. Up, down, two. Second number is three. Up, one, two, three. Second number is four. Three, four. And you gotta keep doing those until you get to 10. So again, you're just following that number. When you hit one, that's one. You hit two, that's two set. When you hit three, that's three reps. When you hit four, four reps. All the way up to 10. Now, if it starts to get tough, there's two different ways that can help you out with getting back up off the ground if you cannot do so. Or if, if those reps are starting to get a little difficult the longer you do it. I'm gonna demonstrate both of them for you so that way it can help you, uh, in fact, if you need help. So again, I'm gonna do a good four and demonstrate how you can uh, assist yourself up if it start hurting. <clears throat> so again, you get in that position, you go up, one. Just say it's hard now. You use your arms as like a butterfly, basically, as a flap. So when you go back, you flap it out. You use the momentum to flap back up to bring you back up. So I'm gonna demonstrate two of them. You go up, down, flap, up, down, flap, up, down, flap. As such, if those don't work for you, you can always do your arm momentum using your whole arm. So this one is gonna be basically, again, use your whole arms to pull yourself back up. So you're gonna go down, uh, one, down, uh, two, down, uh, three, down, uh, four. As such, those really work well. My son even do, uh, does them, and he's five when he having a hard time getting back up. So he's already hip to the different ways, the assistance that could be used to help you get back up. Now, the last stomach exercise I'm gonna show you for today would be what I call the oblique crunch. So basically, this one again, you gotta have some sort of uh, coordination to accomplish this. <clears throat> You're gonna lay on each side. So with, depending on what side you start with, you lay on the left if you want to start with the right side first. You lay on the right if you want to start with the left side first. So I'm going to demonstrate how this looks for y'all as well. So basically, you're going to lay on the ground. You put that bottom arm. You can have it at like an uh, angle, basically. Not straight out. Just put it at like a 45 degree angle. <clears throat> you put your opposite hand behind your, behind your head. And what you're gonna do, you use this for stability, use this one for stability, and you gotta crunch. You can curl your, your feet like this, as such that don't put them straight up, keep them curled, and you crunch up. One, two, three, four, five. And you do you use this lower arm to support you with the lift off, and you crunch and try to bring your elbow in the side of your knee as close together as possible. Now I'm going to demonstrate the other side. Same deal. Now that you're on the opposite end, you put this arm on the floor. The closest arm to the floor is the one that's at the angle. The top arm is behind the head. You keep your legs curled, bent slightly. And then again, you go up one, two, straighten back out, three, straighten back out, four, straighten back out, Five, straighten back up. Make sure you uh, do them slow. Make sure you master the uh, way to do, to do them before you try to speed up the process. Again, like I say, I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any concerns, any uh, thing you wanna work on more, again, 
Just comment below, hit me up. Let me know exactly how I can help you. Just like I just did this video for another subscriber. <clears throat> so again, let me know what's going on. So if you help me, help you basically. So again, if you like what you see, uh, just click that button, subscribe, share it, like it, spread the word. And again, I appreciate it. I appreciate uh, the love, the support. And again, just hit me up. I'll be back with more. Thank you.